I will be showing you how to go from this to this. I would like to thank Ubisoft for providing me with access to this game. I will be comparing and benchmarking each major setting for graphics and performance differences so you can better optimize the game for your system and I will be giving you my optimized settings as well. Let me start by showing you the CPU performance in a very crowded area in the city with an R5 3600X on max settings with DLSS Ultra Performance. The game can comfortably average over 60 FPS, so it looks like budget CPUs can target 60 FPS. Now let's get into the comparisons, and I will jump back in when there is something important to note. The world's detailed setting has the biggest impact to the game's graphics. On lower settings, it can sometimes look like a PS3 era game, so you will definitely want to keep this setting on the higher options. Setting shadows to very high and above will enable dynamic shadows from torches, which has a big impact on performance. The difference between the volumetric cloud setting are minimal when going above high, so it makes sense to set this to high for free FPS.
I could not tell the difference between the character texture options. And if you can't as well, and you're limited by VRAM, you can safely set this to medium, or even low. The game's implementation of upscaling is a bit different than we're used to. Here you have the option of choosing from TAA, DLSS, XESS, and FSR2, and you can adjust the quality level for each one. The highest quality is called native, and the one below is called quality. So far so good. But here's what's different. Now you can basically enable the anti-aliasing portion of these technologies without changing the internal resolution. So. DLAA here is called DLSS native, and the equivalent from the other technologies can be used natively as well. And without any surprise, DLSS has the best image quality by far, followed by XESS and TAA, while FSR2 looks the worst without any doubt. All of them, except DLSS, have severe problems. TAA has lots of ghosting in motion and it doesn't have that crystal clear image and anti-aliasing like DLSS does. XESS suffers from noticeable trailing on some smaller moving objects, while FSR2 looks very blurry and low res. If you have an RTX GPU, use DLSS at native, or quality if you need that extra performance. Otherwise, you can use whichever other tech you prefer. For the optimized settings, I recommend two options, a performance focused and an image quality focused optimized settings. I have found that the in-game benchmark is more demanding than actual gameplay. So if you can average your desired frame rate in the benchmark, you will have a great experience during gameplay. Using the favor image quality settings, the game only saw a small increase in performance over max settings, while looking almost identical. And while using the favor performance settings, performance skyrocketed. The only thing noticeable visually is the impact setting the world detail setting to high has done. So if you have some performance to spare, increase it to very high for that needed improvement to the game's level of detail. Overall, I think that this game is really well optimized for what it offers, especially the CPU performance in populated areas, where the CPU dipped to the 30s in AC Origins and Odyssey. Here, it stayed above 60.